The long-awaited Presidential Commission of Inquiry, COI, into the events of the March 2, 2020 general and regional elections will officially begin public hearings on Friday. The Commission already has more than 20 witnesses lined up to recount what transpired during the March elections and the five months delay before the results were declared. During the official launch on Thursday, Chairman of the Commission, retired Justice of Appeal Stanley John, said the COI is tasked with uncovering what occurred during the March 2020 elections, why it happened, and what could be done to prevent or reduce the chance of a recurrence of those events. We are aware that much has been said about these events by many people from diverse places and organizations. But it must be borne in mind that this inquiry has no case to prove. It is interested in the truth and in fair conclusions based on the evidence properly analyzed. Justice John is supported by former Chancellor of the Judiciary, Carl Singh, and High Court Judge of Belize and former Justice of Appeal acting in the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court, Senior Counsel Godfrey Smith. The chairman has assured that the commission will discharge its responsibility carefully with professionalism, fairness, objectivity, and impartiality. We shall ensure that the report of this inquiry is scrupulously fair, both in terms of an accurate recording of the events we, be, we will be investigating, and in terms of any criticism we may make of persons involved in those events. We stress that in an inquiry of this nature, there is no claimant and defendant. There is no prosecutor or accused, no pleadings, charges, or indictments. Public hearings will commence on November 4 between 9 to 11 hours and 13 to 16 hours. The proceedings will be open to the public and live streamed for persons to view. Hearings are expected to be completed by the end of January 2023 and the report estimated to be submitted by the end of March 2023.